So far in this complete TypeScript course, we have learned a lot of theoretical concepts in TypeScript. We have learned about data types in TypeScript, how TypeScript provides type safety. We learned about generics. We learned about object oriented programming, etc. Now, in this section of this course, we are going to implement those knowledge which we have learned so far into a practical example by developing a simple application using HTML, CSS and TypeScript. And what this will do is it will enhance our knowledge and it will help us understand where each concept in TypeScript, which we have learned so far, we can use in real world projects. So in this lecture, I'm going to give you a high level overview of what we are going to build throughout this section and what are the concepts we are going to use to implement it. So in this section, we are going to create a simple expense tracking application where the user can select the type of expense, for example, whether it is credit or debit. He can enter a description, for example, salary credited, and he can enter the amount. And when he clicks on this add expense button, it is going to add that expense based on whether it is credit or debit. So if it is credit, it will be displayed in green and it will be displayed in right side. And here you can also see the total expense. Now, let me go ahead and let me add some debit here. Let's say groceries, let's say 230. And when I click on this add expense, since it is debit, it is going to be added here and it will be deducted from the total amount. So now the total amount is 9770. And in this way, we can add multiple credits and debits. So for example, here, let's say movie ticket. Let's say movie ticket was $50. So if I add this expense, it will be it will go to debit and it will be added here and that will be also deducted from the total amount. Then let's add a credit here. Let's say YouTube earnings. And let's say maybe $500. Let's add that expense. So that will be added to this total amount. And since it is an income, it will be added in green in the right hand side. And we should also be able to delete these expenses. So whenever we will delete an expense, so whenever we are going to delete an expense, if it is a debit, in that case, if we delete it, that amount should be added to the total amount. And if it is credit and if we delete it, in that case, that amount should be subtracted from the total amount. So that functionality also we are going to add. Then we will also implement the functionality where when the user clicks on one of the expenses, it will show the details of that expense. For example, when that expense was made, the description of that expense and the amount of that expense. So we are going to create a very simple functionality like that using this project, which will help us understand different concepts of TypeScript, which we have learned so far. So for example, in order to implement this functionality, if I go to app.ts, there we have used different concepts. So for example, I have used the concept of typecasting. I have used the concept of accessing the DOM element. Then here we are creating a class. So I'm also using the object oriented programming concepts. Then if you see for this type, we have specified its data type as literal type combined with union. So this type can either be credit or it can be debit. It cannot have any other value assigned to it. Okay, so here we have the combination of literal type and union type. Then if I scroll down, here, we are also going to generate some dynamic contents and insert it in the DOM. We are going to create different functions for doing different jobs like calculating the total amount, adding the expenses in the UI. Okay, and we are also handling the click event on this button element. And we also have this show total function where we are displaying the total amount, the total remaining amount here in the header okay then here we have this add event listener method so basically using this we are listening to click event on this button element so all these things we are going to implement it from scratch from our next lecture in this lecture i just wanted to give you an overview of what we are going to build over next few lectures so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions or any suggestions then feel free to contact through the comment sections
Thank you for listening and have a great day.